Hi, my name is Caroline Heldman, and I'm an associate professor of politics at Occidental College in Los Angeles. And I've been in Serbia for the last week promoting a film that I worked on called Misrepresentation that looks at the very narrow ways in which women and girls are portrayed in U.S. society in popular culture and how it damages both their self-esteem and their potential for leadership. And I was invited to come to Serbia to talk about this issue because it's not just an issue for the United States. It's an issue for any country that imports U.S. media. And at the present time, that's nearly every country on the globe. Um, so just as, as I would be cautious about exporting um, toxic waste, I would be cautious about exporting toxic U.S. media. Um, and the response to the film has been quite remarkable in Serbia. Um, the response has been different in different parts of Serbia. The questions have been different in Niš, for example, versus Novi Sad, but they've all been incredibly thoughtful uh, questions that illustrate that Serbians are concerned about the state of girls and women in their country as well. Um, I've had wonderful experiences seeing the different landscapes in Serbia, the different people in Serbia, and my only regret is that I can't be here longer to get to know this wonderful country better. Um, I've been very impressed by the honesty of the Serbian people, um, as well as their open-mindedness and willingness to consider issues of gender equity. And I've been particularly impressed with the fact that Serbia recently passed a quota where every third woman on a party ticket, or every third candidate on a party ticket, must be a woman. And I think that this is incredible progress. It's progress, for example, that I wish we could have in the United States. Right now, in the Serbian parliament, 22% of representatives are female. And in the United States, that number is only 17%, and it doesn't seem to be budging. But here in Serbia, you've said this is a problem, and so you've instituted a quota, so that number will be going up. And hopefully, at some point in your future, it won't be remarkable that women are in politics. Little girls will just assume that it is natural for women to go into positions of political power. Um, I've particularly been impressed with the Facebook discussion about this issue, and I am a follower of the U.S. Embassy's Facebook because there's so much information, interesting information, about the various programs that are run, including this film, Misrepresentation, and I hope that we can continue the dialogue. Thank you.